Hi students. Lines, I mean planes three. Planes three. Surface perpendicular to HP and inclined to VP. Surface perpendicular to HP and inclined to VP. Like this. Surface perpendicular to HP and inclined to VP. Perpendicular to HP. Agreed? Okay. First problem is. First problem is a rectangular lamina resting on VP on a side. A rectangular lamina resting on VP on a side with the surface vertical. Vertical means perpendicular to HP. With the surface vertical in such a way that the front view is a square. Front view is a square. Rectangular lamina 40 mm by 60, 80, 60 mm. 40 mm by 60 mm rests on VP on a shorter side in such a way that the surface is vertical and the front view is a square. What you have to do is look at this. Keep the lamina like this. Draw the plan and elevation. Then pull it back towards us. Pull it away from VP or towards us. Somewhere the front view is a square. Somewhere. Somewhere the front view is a square. We are going to draw that. Simple position, elevation and plan. Simple position, elevation and plan. In the previous category where the surface was perpendicular to VP and inclined to HP, we were redrawing that elevation to get the final position. Here we have to redraw the plan and project a new elevation. How will you redraw the plan? You take a1, D1, anywhere on XY. This is 40. And this is how much? 60. If it become a square, what is the side of the square? 40 mm. It can produce only a square of 40 mm side. Okay. Measure, but take A1, D1. AD, A dash, D dash, AD, A1, D1, take 40 mm away, a projector. What is this distance? This distance is A1, D1. This distance is 40 mm. This is a center. This as length, radius, cut and arc, and connect. What is this? This is B1, C1. What is this? This is the final plan. Draw vertical projectors up. Draw horizontal projectors. What do you get? You get the final elevation. What is it said? A square. A1 dash, B1 dash, C1 dash, D1 dash. Connect. Final plan and elevation. The requirement is fulfilled. Agreed? That is the first cat first problem in this category. Second problem we will do a square. Second problem we will do a square. Second problem is a square. 70 mm diagonals. A square of 70 mm diagonals rests on VP on a corner. Rests on VP on a corner in such a way that its front view is a rhombus of 70 40 diagonals. Keep it like this. Pull it so that this diagonal becomes smaller. 40. Agree? Very similar question actually it is x y draw a square of 70 mm diagonal. How do you draw? Draw two vertical lines, mark 
rectify to all the four sides and connect. When you are given diagonals, that is easy, easiest way. A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash. What is the plan? Plan is a square. A plan is a line. A, B, D, C. Take A1 anywhere on XY line. Measure 40 mm. This is 70 mm diagonals. 70. Seventy. Measure forty. Draw a vertical project. Draw a vertical projector down. Take this plan length AC and cut an arc C one. B one D one. Draw vertical projectors up. Draw horizontal projectors. What do you get? A one dash B one dash C one dash D one dash. Connect. What is this? This is a rhombus of 70 40 diagonals. 70, 70 remains unaltered. 70, 40. This distance is 40. Clear? Okay. In the third problem, we will draw a hexagonal lamina. In this, a hexagonal lamina is resting on HP on a side. Hexagonal lamina is resting on HP on a side. HP on a side with the surface vertical and making some angle to VP. What angle to VP say? Let us consider 50 degrees to VP. Draw x y line. Draw a hexagon. A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, F dash. A, B, C, D, E, F. Retro the plan. A1, B1, C1, D1, E1, F1. Draw vertical projectors up. Draw horizontal projectors. A one dash, B one dash, C one dash, D one dash, E one dash, F one dash. Connect. What do you get? You get a compressed hexagon. My angle is too less. This is around 40, 35 to 40. It should have been 50. But this is the concept. Here it is resting on HP itself. But the surface is perpendicular to HP and inclined to VP. Surface is perpendicular to HP and inclined to VP. Okay. Now, whenever the surface is perpendicular to HP and inclined to VP, you will be redrawing the plan. If the shape of the elevation is given, just like the previous two problems, you will read or, or adjust the elevation. But the concept is we will be redrawing the plan and projecting a new elevation. So, we have seen the first two steps for climbing up further. The real situation comes when the surface is inclined to both planes. To draw them, you have to select a simple position. Then you have to go, come to first uh, tilt. Then you have to tilt once again to get the final position. So, this was drawn for you to familiarize with the basics of tilting. I hope you understand. Thank you.